Uh, we're going to, on this video, show you how to thread your bobbin winder. You come up off the cone of thread, through the first hole, up through the first hole, from back to front on the second hole of your thread lead off. On your bobbin winder tension, there's through two thread guides, one in the rear, one in the front, from the back to front of the first one. And we're going to go ahead and run it through this second one. And we want to loop it underneath your bobbin tension. Run it through this little short black thread guide. Then we take a bobbin, slide on the bobbin winder. If we rotate that around, see this little wire spring. There's a notch on the bobbin. When you go to slide that on, slide it on and then turn it until it clicks that wire in that notch. If you try to slide it on and line that notch up, it can bend that spring. You just want to slide it on there and then turn it to line up the notch. To wrap your thread around your bobbin, go over the top like that and then around counterclockwise and that will make it come off of, the, off of your bobbin case better. You'll want to cut that thread. We're going to show you how to wind the bobbin and adjust if necessary. You'll need a flat screwdriver, a 1 16th Allen screw, and Allen wrench, and a uh, nut driver, 7 millimeter nut driver or wrench. To adjust in large increments, there's a flat slotted screw right here, which holds a clamp onto this spindle. If you loosen that screw, you can actually spin it on the spindle. So we're going to tighten it back onto the spindle now. Just and if we engage that and watch where it tries to kick off by itself, that's pretty close to where we're going to need to be. There's also a, a smaller adjustment right here. There's a nut. If you loosen that nut, and you can screw this in and out with a 1 16th Allen wrench and it actually pushes this spring out a little further, this little flat spring right here to give you a little more adjustment, a little more minute adjustment if necessary. So we engage our lever and we want to make sure that we're centered in the bobbin case or in the bobbin rather. So we slide it a little further into the spindle. Now we're centered. We start winding our bobbin by uh, setting the machine in constant mode, probably a 50-60%, some medium rate of speed, and hit our run stop switch. And that's the way you wind your bobbin and adjust the bobbin winder.